Hello, Eric. Andy Mitten, United East and the Athletic. Can I ask you about uh, Fred, the type of player you think he is, what his strengths are, playing in the various systems that you like to use? Yeah, in the moment he saw playing um, in, in the role from connector, uh, defending to, to offense, I think he's playing the role quite well. Um, so I'm satisfied with his performance, <laughs> with, his, uh, in, um, with his improvement till now. I think he can even be better and I will support him with that. Further, he brings energy in the team uh, by, by his attitude. Hi, uh, Neil Pusses from the Sun. Um, you've shown a lot of support for Harry, um, kept him on as your captain and spoken well about him. Can you quite understand this negative reaction he gets even over here? We've seen it at home in an England game, but it's, it's happened over here as well. Can you understand that? I don't think it's um, a matter of to find out to, to, uh, if I can understand it. It's about how can we change it. And the team, Harry himself, uh, by performing. And that's what we're working on, and that is the only focus. Uh, Jamie Jackson from The Guardian. The start of the season is just sort of round the corner. From your opening three matches in the Premier League, would you take seven points now? Would that be a good return? I don't think so far. I, I think always on the first game. And the uh, first game is the most important one. And we want to win every game. So first win the first game. Any more Australian questions before we Um, Eric, um, Corey, we've got enough to um, We've seen uh, Marcus Rashford, James Sancho, Bruno Fernandes, and Anthony Martial combine as a front four. They were training together. Is that in your mind for the opening game of the season? Bear in mind you're talking about getting this together. Or does Cristiano Ronaldo's return uh, come into consideration for that? It can be. <laughs> and you see, they connect uh, really good together. I think uh, that is. Yeah, when you see that, hey, um, you are lucky as a manager. Uh, the team is lucky. We have a threat. We have weapons, and we have uh, and we have to improve that every day and to develop that further. Hi, Eric. Um, Rob Dawson from ESPN. When um, Louis van Gaal came away on his first tour, he was quite critical of um, you know the travel and the, the commercial side of things that has to go around these tours. Um, I was just wondering, in terms of how you prepare your players for a new season, how have you found that? Have you found that? You've been able to focus on football and that everything else has kind of just been sidelined a little bit. Yeah, I think it's part of nowadays football. Um, you have to accept it as a manager, as a team, and you have to get the best out of it. And that is what we did. Um, I think it's great for the team spirit to uh, so long uh, you, you are together and so you can really improve that uh, to, uh, to, develop, to uh, develop that. And you have a lot of time to work on your team. Uh, because you are so close together, and I would say, yeah, it's always just great, I would say, to have that experience, also to come in, in nice cities as Bangkok, Melbourne, now in Perth. Um, uh, you're not every day you're coming in, uh, but there are also disadvantages, it's clear, uh, but you, uh, as a professional, you have to deal with certain things uh, who are decided, where you don't uh, have influence on, but where you have influence on, that's on, is on your game. And that is our focus point. Hi, I'm Lockie Reid from Channel 10. This, this game's been sold out pretty much since it's been announced. Uh, what sort of show can Perth fans look forward to tomorrow night? Show? Yeah, you never... Hey, it, that is, we have the intention uh, to, to play brilliant uh, football. One thing, we have an opponent every time, uh, they don't cooperate. Hey? <laughs> So, uh, first is about uh, that we, in our philosophy, we want to uh, play attacking football and proactive football. Yeah, I know the opponent from tomorrow is a really tough opponent, so it's a really great test. So, in that uh, sense, this Perth is really lucky. Hi, Erica, Daniel McDonald from the Daily Mirror. Are you any clearer as to when Cristiano Ronaldo will be returning for pre-season in Manchester? Do you have an update on, on that? No. It's the same as last week. Are you concerned that the longer he stays away, the, the, the less time he has available to, to be fit for the start of the season? Of course. Um, but concerning is, is maybe that's not the right word. I focus on the players who are there and they are doing really well. Yeah, they are in a good shape and uh, yeah, I will further focus on that and develop that. And I cannot wait. Is she coming in? And then we will integrate them. Eric, Paul Hurst from the Times. You brought a lot of academy players with you on this tour. Um, do you think that they will be able to help you? Are they kind of like up to Premier League standard if you do need them this season? 
we have to wait if um, if that's the case and i think they need some development and we're working um, day by day on that but um, yeah that will not come overnight that takes time it takes patient young players but if they uh, show they can have an impact then i am the uh, the manager who throw them in eric hi james Zucker from the daily telegraph are you at all concerned about your shortage of options in attack going into the new season? Because you would appear to be maybe one injury away from trouble in those positions. Yeah, that is that is a reason. Huh? But also the number of games. So you need more options uh, in offence, clear. For you, is that is it vital that the club do add in that department before August 31st? I think... It's vital if you want to catch success. The uh, season is really long, uh, but we also have still time uh, to, to, to fill that in. Okay, we've got time for two last questions. Uh, hi, Eric. Adam Stock, United Stands. One sign in here training with you so far. Does it make your job more difficult not having the players that you want here on tour training with you now, uh, considering the likes of City Spurs have their all their signings in place and on tour training with them now. It's definitely an advantage, and I, I would have, I would have been in that situation. But it's not, and then you have to deal with the situation, and then you develop the team with the players you have. And I think we do. So back in Manchester, um, uh, Eriksen, Martinez will join in. And then we have more options, and I think they can quite quickly integrate in the team. And Martinez and Eriksen will be joining yourself on uh, in Oslo, in Norway, part of the oh, tour. Uh, we we will set conclusions uh, when we are back in um, in Manchester. Then we have some days to train, and then we will we'll make our choices. Uh, Adam Kohler from Stratford Paddock. Um, just uh, in regards to Hannibal Medbury and James Garner, we haven't really got to see much of them on his pre-season tour. I know James Garner was injured. What are your plans for them for the coming season? I know we've had similar questions, but is James Garner going to go back on, uh, on loan? Will he be part of the first team? And similar question for Hannibal Medbury. Uh, James Garner, uh, he just uh, integrated in training this week, so uh, I haven't seen him. I don't have, uh, let's say, uh, fully impression from him so i want to see more and then i can answer the question and then we will make conclusions and and, and decisions and hannibal maybe i think uh, he plays um some minutes now i think he did quite well and um on, on training as well so i think um he makes a quite good impression but it's also to do with the balance in the squad sure, yeah, the young players have shown because we've seen them on the pitch shouting to each other we've seen the way they carry themselves Seems to be a, a real maturity from the younger players. A real what? Maturity, maturity like they're experienced, mm -hmm. the way they carry themselves. I think they they do well, uh, but um, uh, I also know the standards in the Premier League. Um, European football are really high, and uh, it's always about um, are they already to take the responsibility uh, to play to contribute. Or uh, do they have the? Are they conscious um, of that situations? And that is uh, what I um, have to prove, uh, approve, and then I will take my decisions. At, uh, but that they have uh, potential, some of them is quite clear. We have come to the end of the video. See you in the next video. Bye.